Good morning, gang. Grab your Bibles. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. That's where we're at. We'll start by reading the whole section, though. I hope by now you probably have at least part of this memorized. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 3. And it says, Now faith is the substance, it's solid, of things hoped for. That's heaven. The evidence, the proof of things not seen. For by it the elders people in the Old Testament that came before us, obtained a good report from God. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed. They were assembled. They were put together by the word of God. Now let's finish up this verse, okay? All right, here's, here we go. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. All right, so God created everything out of absolutely nothing okay it wasn't like um he created this so that he cre he could create this or so that he could create this and then create he spoke it remember we read in genesis he spoke and the world was there he spoke if everything was the it said it was devoid it was empty it was empty nothingness and God created the heavens and the earth and the sky and the atmosphere and the clouds and the stars and the sun, moon, and stars. He spoke it and it was all there. Now, we accept that by faith because we believe in God. We put our faith in him. Now, there are two, there, there's a reason why I'm really, really stressing this. It takes faith to believe that God made everything out of nothing. It takes faith, doesn't it? But there are people out there who believe in evolution. And I want you to see that it takes faith, much more faith, for them to believe that, you know, we were a little amoeba and we were swimming around in this ooey gooey goose. Who knows where the gooey gooey goose was or where it came from or where the little amoeba came from. But that's what they believe, that there was this little itty amoeba and was swimming around and all of a sudden it sprouted a tail and then it sprouted feet and we climbed out of the ooze and then we started walking around and we became creatures and we evolved into the people that we are now. It takes so much more faith to believe that that happened than to believe that our God could speak it and it existed and he made everything perfectly to fit together perfectly so that um that we so that we have gravity on earth <sighs> do you realize that all of the um all of the things that evolutionists teach um have to be proven you know the scientific method is that you can you can repeat it and show how it happened well we can't re we can't repeat creation, can we? You know why we can't repeat creation? No humans were alive to see it happen, and we don't have the power of God. I want to read from the book that I'm studying in order to get all this information for you. Um, in my book, the in they saw the invisible heroes of of Hebrews 11 by my friend. It says since creation was not observed by humans and cannot be repeated. Human theories about how it came about cannot be proved through science. We weren't there. We cannot redo it to prove that it happened. They must be accepted by faith. But God was an eyewitness to creation because he did it and has told us about it in his word that, that it happened. By faith, we, re, we believe what he says. That's what it comes down to, gang. We either believe what God says or we don't. And the scientists around us, the world around us, doesn't believe that God has that much power. They don't believe in an eternal being who loves them enough to create all of this and then come and die for us so that we could go to heaven. They, they, can't, they can't fathom it. But there are two... There are two sources of information out there. And this is really important for you guys to understand. There are two sources. There is, there's the Word of God, okay? It is fantastic. It is 
amazing. It is life changing. Remember we talked about that? That's one of the proofs about salvation is it changes our lives. It's life changing. There's that sign and then there is man's theories. Man thinks that it might have happened this way. Man can't prove that it happened this way or it didn't happen this way. It's their theories. It's what they think. But gang, men, us, humans, are fallible. That means we fail all the time. God can't. <laughs> so there are two theories. I want you to, I'm going to read one more time out of here. It says, there are only two sources of information about the beginning of the world. God's revelation, that's the Bible, and man's theories, that's evolution. Both must be accepted by faith. So it comes down to this. Which one are you going to choose? Which one are you going to live your life by? The evolutionists just say, ah, oh, live and let live. Who cares what happens after this? God says, I care. I want you to live my way. I want you to follow me so I can give you a place in heaven eternally. What you believe and what you do with that belief is really important. So there are two sources of information. God's revelation and man's theories. I love you. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope you choose to believe God over man every time in every situation. Not just in this one but in every situation. I love you. Bye-bye.